want to not be on my team. at like 6 30 right and i really had to pee my friend had said i could use the bathroom in her room but i tried to go in her room this morning and the door was like locked maybe it wasn't locked but i tried to open it and i could like slowly and i couldn't open it so i was like oh my goodness i think she locked her door and then I tried to use her roommate's bathroom, which used to just be the like guest bathroom in her house. And that was the bathroom that I was used to using at her place anyways. So anyways, her friend barges in on me as I'm peeing, or her roommate, not friend. Her roommate barged in on me as I was peeing and is like, dude, this is my bathroom. Mind you, all I did was pee. I came in there and had to flush her pee that was still left in the toilet. And you're over here talking about some, this is my bathroom. As I'm like literally still on the toilet. So it was just very awkward. It made me feel very uncomfortable. So now I just left and I'm about to maybe get breakfast at Chick-fil-A and then go back and get ready for our hike. <laughs> Can I do the um, chicken hash brown scramble? And did you want to do the meal or the walk for it? And then for the chicken burrito? Um, the bowl and just the bowl. Just the bowl. Alrighty. And what else can I get for you tonight? Um. Can I do a vanilla cold brew? Oh, ready. And what else, Gloria? That's it. Okay, so we have that chicken bowl, then a vanilla iced coffee. It's gonna be eight ninety seven for you, Linda. Thank you. Pleasure. I was debating whether I should get coffee or not, y'all. It's so rare that you don't order and pay. I had the, oh, I do. Thank you. 
2,000 years later. Alright y'all, so I left my friend's place because she had plans with another friend at 12 and she wanted to go to the um, aquarium but I'm like I don't really want to be spending money for the aquarium. Y'all, the way my edges look trash and I literally just wasted my whole morning trying to lay them down story of my life honestly my hair has been giving me nothing but troubles so i'm stopping at fayette pavilion basically i'm now spending the weekend at my dad's which i did not want to but at least i can swim in his pool um and i'm only doing it so that i can spend time with my older sister Otherwise, I was going to stay where I was. I was just going to go back home. I was planning to go back to Columbus and being back like the rest of the day. Because personally, I like being at home. And I don't sleep that well at other people's places. Um, so, I wasn't, like I said, wasn't planning on going to my dad's place, but I don't know what this person's doing. They need me to let them in. But my sister or my dad had invited my sister to an event, so now she wants me to go with him. because the one I ordered this morning was gross. Someone just complimented my outfit. It's from Target. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just got me a frozen coffee that I'm sure is going to be 10 times better than the one I got at Chick-fil-A this morning and probably taste way better too. I don't know what that guy ordered, but his food looked good. Okay, let's get out of here. This is a really tight Dunkin' too. All right, I tried the caramel cream. Mmm, oh, that's so good. Caramel cream frozen coffee. I also feel like I need to stop and get gas. There's a value village over here in the Dollar Tree. I'm so tempted to go to this Dollar Tree, y'all. <laughs> if y'all watch Love Island, the girls always go like this. And that's my new favorite thing to do. We're about to stop real quick. There's traffic on my way there anyways, and I want some hand sanitizer. Cause I want to see if they have the dupes, the Touchland dupes, because the one, I got this little spray one that is not doing what I need it to do. I'm also in Riverdale right now, which is like close to where I grew up in Georgia which is Fayetteville, Georgia. Already, I'm not impressed. All right, I did not get anything at the Dollar Tree. It was not a great one. There was too many people in there. So, I don't know what my sister wants to do.
do, but she said she wants to do something tonight. So we'll see what I get up to, guys. Didn't really have plans of doing much today. The only plans I had made were for this morning, and I thought I, I knew I was going to be done before 12 p.m. because my friend had plans at 12. So honestly, we got back from our hike at like 10.30. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. this morning, so your girl is not running on the most amount of sleep, but it's like a livable, I should say doable amount, just not the best. Stopped at Walmart to pee. Alright, I'm about to stop and get gas at this Walmart. And then head back on the road. Excuse me, y'all. I got about 40 more minutes. Oh my goodness. Person was speeding, you guys. Ugh. I literally had car blindness for like a second. Thankfully, I saw the car at the last minute.
I just had to run for my life because I was being attacked by a bee. I'm just trying to enjoy my sandwich from Jimmy John's. <sighs> That's all I wanted. And then we're going to try to relax again by the pool. And there's the pool. And there's my sister. to get in the pool oh there is a dead dragon fry in there I thought it was alive <sighs> oh my gosh it like drips drops down right here all right decided to just chill at my dad's pool and then I don't know what we're gonna do after so yeah my eyes is burning um so I accidentally fell in the pool and now my hair is wet got no sleep last night my older sister is one of the most annoying people to share a room with and i'll have to get into that at another time anyways i'm about to get ready for church so I spent the night. Honestly, you know, I wasn't planning on spending my entire weekend not at home. And that's pretty much what happened. So yesterday I was at my friend's. Today I'm at my um, <clears throat> dad's new house and did not get a lot of sleep well yeah. so tired
said that already. We're about to start my makeup, I guess. And I got pretty much no sleep. So I'm very, very tired still. And personally, not in the best of moods at the moment. But you know, we'll work through it. Here's the makeup my sister brought for me. I just asked her to bring a makeup bag. And we're about to see what options. I don't think I have a primer in here. So we're about to see what we can do. Oh wait. No, that's a lip balm. I can do that eyeliner at least. Okay. <laughs> thousand years later all right we stopped to get poplar for her i've never been here i live in georgia My goodness. Peach galore. Slaw dog. Alright, y'all. Me and my sister made it back to Columbus. She's going to go back to my mom's and she's stopping at my grandma's house first. I'm about to go pick up food from Wingstop and then head home, do my laundry, watch Love Island, and then go to bed. I'm so freaking tired. My weekend ended up being like way busier than I was expecting. I'm glad I got to see my sister, although we did fight, like, <laughs> a lot of the time. And it's, like, so funny, because I'm, like, we're freaking old, too old to be fighting, but at the same time, it's just, like, only your siblings really know how to, like, rub you the wrong way at all times, or just, like, piss you off. Basically, like, me and my sister are not good if we are in the same room, and she has to sleep with her stupid show playing, and I have to sleep in complete silence. And she like refused to put her headphones in. So she tried to give me some earplugs to sleep, but I could still hear what she was watching. So I couldn't sleep. And basically like they say like you're not supposed to sleep with music playing because I know for me when the music is playing basically, or when I'm with, when I TV shows playing, my brain is still trying to process the audio even well I'm tr even when you're trying to sleep and so you don't get like a good rest and so I literally was not able to sleep because even though I'm trying to tune out the stupid um, show that's playing it's like my brain can't shut off the my ears and it's still trying to process the audio which is why i have to sleep in complete science silence because like it keeps me freaking up so i started to like cover up at least the words coming from her show i started playing like rain sounds 
thunderstorm sounds on my iPad and then she got pissed at that because she's like I don't want to hear that I'm like well I don't want to hear your show and since I don't have my headphones because I would have put my headphones on to try to tune it out but I didn't have my headphones for my iPad pad I only had it for my iPhone and I can't charge and I only have the wired ones which I couldn't charge my phone and listen to that because then I would wake up and basically my phone would be dead so I would have had to have my wireless headphones to use with my iPad and I didn't have them so I was getting so upset because I'm like I can't freaking sleep and she refused to put her headphones in and then she's mad mad because I'm trying to drown out her noise that she's making and I'm like you're mad at me for what you're doing to me so anyways, we just don't get along. And that's how it was on our cruise. Like on our cruise, I literally could not sleep because she wanted to listen to um, watch shows. But in our room, she was trying to watch it on the TV in our room. So like not only was the light and the sound, it was the light and the sound bothering me. And I'm like, I can't sleep with the TV freaking on. So I just was like, I can't, I can't, um, I can't stay in the same room as my sister because we fight. But honestly, even the last time, last time I stayed with, um, we did something, I'm pretty sure we ended up fighting too. I just feel like we don't mesh well in person, <laughs> in person. And sometimes, you know, it is what it is. Like, I still love my sister, obviously, but we just don't get along. We get along better when we're not in the same city I was gonna say state <laughs> but when she's in she's at my mom's and I'm here she doesn't bother me <sighs> but for the most part we have enjoyed ourselves and I got to see my grandma as well I went to church with my dad this morning so that was the other thing but basically, I did so much driving this morning, um, this morning, and I wasn't really planning to have so much driving. Like, I was only planning to be drive to my friend's Friday night, and then I was planning to come back and spend the rest of my weekend in Columbus by myself, getting stuff done, getting rest, and that ended up not happening because my older sister bullied, slash, and that's the other thing, like, she pretty much bullied me to come stay with her at my dad's new house and I was like I don't really want to and I wasn't planning on it but she also wanted me to be able to give her a ride back to Columbus so it was like she needed me it was it was basically like I pretty much got used <laughs> by both my dad and my sister because me being there me going there meant my dad didn't have to bring my sister back to Columbus which saved him time but it pretty much added an extra two hours of driving that I wasn't planning on doing this weekend. And then also just having to stay where I'm not comfortable, not being able to get sleep, and just overall was not, was not having the best time. Not all of these cars running red lights because our light was green this whole time and y'all just started turning. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, I'm so ready to... I'm just ready for this day to be over. This night to be over. I'm freaking exhausted. I just want to watch this Love Island episode and go to bed. And honestly, I feel like it's not even going to be a good one and I'm probably going to be mad. But we're going to try to enjoy it. And then I need to wash my um, work clothes so that I can have clean clothes for the week. And then tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting my window fixed. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So I'm probably going to have to reschedule that appointment. Which stinks. <laughs> and then uh, it's just too freaking much going on this week i'm honestly i feel like i've been very overwhelmed for the past like couple of months and it's like one thing happens and then i think i got something figured out and then something else happens 
basically I'm still driving my dad's car until I figure out my get my window fixed get my AC fixed and see what's going on with the transmission issue but my car still is drivable um, it's just not fun to drive a car with no AC in the summer but I had a transmission fault thing happen and my car started shaking after that happened and I don't know what caused it I've driven it not a long distance but I've like just moved my car around and I it hasn't like the error or fault message hasn't come up again but I'm just scared so I just have to make sure I get it checked out but I have to wait till I get my window fixed because I can't drive my car like anywhere with the window also I canceled my car insurance because I got pissed after my window got broken into and then they basically told me my insurance doesn't cover it and I'm like well why do I have insurance with y'all then so then I got mad and canceled it so right now I don't even have car insurance so that's the other major thing I have to get and it's just Oh, so much freaking crap I really don't want to deal with right now and we're trying to figure this all out before why would you turn all the way in the left lane knowing you had to be over here oh people oh, I'm telling you people just be trying it all the freaking time but main thing, the main thing I was um, upset about is not getting any sleep because of my sister and then having a freaking long day today. It's eight, I didn't get home till eight. I've been up since um, like 8.30, but really I never went to sleep last night. So that all adds up to me being pissed and me being annoyed and me not wanting to do anything tonight but still having a lot of stuff i gotta do so yeah that was my weekend